Hello, I don't want to brag or present myself as a, a likely candidate for anything in particular, but I not only have antibodies that I donated in plasma last week, but I got the first uh, vaccine. Ooh. How did you get that? Oh, you're, a teacher. you're a teacher. I, I am an educator. Yes. Wow. Yes. I, you know what? Your latest piece this week makes me want to fly and exchange like bodily fluids and antibodies with you. Like, oh. I would do really, like, dirty things to you, because this piece <laughs> is really, well... We, we is, could discuss off-air what those possibilities are. <laughs> Fantastic. Yay! It's well, this is just, you only, only if Sean watches, though. <laughs> you know, but your piece goes to everything we've been saying. We did not get here January 6th, and it's going to take us a while to get out of this. Your headline is, we could have dealt with this S years ago if Republicans hadn't been D's about their extremists. And I totally had forgotten about the report of Janet Napolitano. But you're right, I keep thinking about Janet Napolitano. In April 2009, yep. Republicans and conservative groups were demanding she resign because her mm -hmm. department is so deeply insulted right-wing Americans. The uh, DHS extremism and radicalization branch in coordination with the FBI released a report titled Right-Wing Extremism, Current Economic and Political Climate Fueling Resurgence in Radicalization and Recruitment. And it was pretty much straight up and down accurate, describing how nutsoid right-wingers, almost all of them white people, were becoming terrorists. Um, and Right. And so you just, I remember all that. You said for the complaining a-holes, it's like Gulf War vet at Oklahoma City bomber Tim Timothy Bay had never existed. And the Napolitano apologized to veterans for any misunderstanding after Republicans lost their S even more, even calling a hearing where Napolitano ended up backing away from the report instead of shoving it down their effing throats. Um, and you're saying, here we are. Everything that's happened, not just last Wednesday at the Capitol, but around this country for a decade plus since that report has was issued has proved it was true. Right. And, yeah. and here we are. I yeah. mean, here yeah. we are. And you and yeah, and 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 if you remember that, I mean, it it was it was a right wing media story for months. Mm -hmm. I mean that, and and they still brought it up all the way through Obama's uh, Obama's term, where like, oh look, this is what they really think of you, right wingers. Yeah. They think you're extremists, and you know they think church going people are, are are extremists. They think that our veterans are extremists, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's because they recruit the veterans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, you said they were upset they'd have to admit their base was a bunch of violent crackpots, racists and a-holes. So they effed over the country to score cheap political points, show how they could stand up to the black president. That's how we got dozens of right wing extremist attacks in the last 12 years. That's how we got Charlottesville. It's how we have got Trump able to be openly, wildly racist with no no consequences. That's how we got members of Congress afraid of other members of Congress harming them. If Republicans had seen that report and said, yeah, wow, that's bad. We should act on it. How different things might have been and you say maybe now maybe at last maybe the dam has finally broke but there should be no effing mercy anymore for republicans who abetted this madness it's not all, all out there now mother effers you decided to sow now mm -hmm. reap that s and uh, that you deserve to uh, and you be, deserve to be tossed in the political trash can i mean they've got to eject these members of congress i mean i know we've got to do an investigation route but i yeah. mean yeah. just at a minimum that they voted to overturn the election results Yes. And, you know, I mean, I, beside the fact that, you know, it clearly looks like they had inside help and there were, um, you know, multiple Congress people involved. Yeah. Right. I love on Twitter how Democrats keep posting things saying, I didn't give anybody a tour last week. Did you? Mm. And then others <laughs> respond saying, nope, I didn't give anyone a tour. <laughs> And, oh my uh, God. And, and Lauren Boebert, who got all upset because she thought she was being accused of something um, uh, by uh, Sean Maloney, she uh, she still has not said whether or not she's given any she yeah. gave any tours to any groups yeah. on the day before the insurrection. And as he said, she even had to apologize because, of course, as usual, she's completely fact free and got completely wrong. He's never even said her name guilty much. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. but I mean, I, speaking of name calling, you said, OK, but if they say Heil Hitler and wear Camp Auschwitz shirts, can we call them Nazis? What, is that name calling still or right? Yeah. Or, yeah. or if you wear a six million is not enough shirt, is it OK to call them Nazis now? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, it, it, if they're if 
if they're wearing, uh, you know, uh, badges and emblems that have the SS in it, you know, it's mm-hmm. like, it's like, all right, you know, there's a fine line between being campy on the right, I guess. Oh, look, I'm so badass. I will wear campy. a badge. Wow. Well, rude. Campy. I mean, you know, my friend and I were saying this, that isn't this the worst thing of this four years is that you instinctively sometimes when you see an, someone with an American flag thing, it chills you because it has come to be associated with what we saw at the Capitol, with a Confederate flag, with a Nazi flag, with a Tea Party flag, any other, it, it, a Trump flag. It's it, you right, you're like, oh, they mean that America. They don't mean the actual America. They mean white supremacist America, right? Right. Well, that was always what Make America Great Again was. Is, right. And, and we've, we said it for, you know, five years. But the other thing is, I mean, did you, the way they treated the American flag during this you know, not only yeah. did, did did they beat the cop with an American flag, but, a, with, but they, a, with, a, with a blue with a blue lives matter flag or a blue with, lives with a blue lives. But also, there's video of somebody that was on the you know on the Capitol outside taking down an American flag to put up a Trump flag. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. I was saying, bro, that will be the image that sticks with me from January 6th, Is then literally pulling down the American flag and raising a Trump flag. I mean, I, and you, okay, and can you, you imagine, can you imagine if a bunch of people, I mean, even at Obama's rallies, there weren't thousands and thousands of people wearing O hats, right. you know, right. there weren't, the, people weren't wearing the Obama insignia. They weren't carrying Obama flags that were, you know, his whole I mean, campaign was, was the real America. Like we, the we. The, right. You know, there's some we worship an awesome God in the blue states and we have some gay friends in the red states like his whole thing was, you know, so uniquely American. And, the, the you know, we're the ones we've been waiting for. And anyway, you, yeah. so you retweeted um, new, uh, U.S. Capitol Police arrested Virginia man as he attempted to pass through a police checkpoint in downtown Washington Friday with a fake inaugural credential, a loaded handgun, over 500 rounds of ammunition. And you said, imagine all the crazy S this guy believes to do this and who made him believe it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, that's, I do love, though, that uh, that now that there's, you know, thousands and thousands of armed National Guard troops there, there protecting places there and then extra protection at state capitals, that their big January 17th rally or whatever just fizzed out. It and did. Like, yeah. They stood up to them right. and they yeah. they just because they're crumbled. cowards. They're cowards like their dear leader, you know, but it, yeah. it's but I mean, yeah, it, it, honestly, rude. You look at Washington, you're like, it looks like Fallujah because one moron won't just say he lost the election. Yep. I mean, it's it's uh, anyway. And that should um, be that should be the question that is asked of every Republican that goes on any show. Do you, you you said, you know, what what they should ask Jim Jordan. Do you accept that this is a that, that Joe Biden won a free and fair election? And if they don't say yes, then cut their mic and say the interview's over. Thank and, you. And Thank have you. A, Ruth. Have a yeah. bottom line. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, at Divergence on Twitter, our friend Sarah Cooper from our happy hour said, mm-hmm. um, very rarely do you get to witness the complete destruction of someone who truly deserves it. Um, woohoo, happy last Friday of this nightmare. Um, yeah. <laughs> and you said, Rude, I would enjoy the collapse of Trump's presidency and his awful future more if it weren't for this gestures at hellscape of death and, and ruin. All this. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's true. It's like, yay, he's gone. But like I keep saying, we are a smoking ruin of death mm-hmm. and destruction and joblessness. And and that the fact that we keep hearing every day about more screw ups with the rollout of the vaccine. Oh my god! Okay, mm-hmm. is that the next thing? What did, who did Jared sell the vaccine to? What yeah. what, what are we gonna like? How is yeah. how is it just gone? The stockpile I, is just not there. After tell after saying over and over, yes, we're you know we have this stockpile for second shots. We and then and then we magnanimously will release it now. Now that Joe Biden says he's going to release it, and then oops, we didn't really have it. I mean, it's it's the states are are reeling from that because they yeah. really thought they're going to get yeah. a, a surge of the of the vaccine. And oh my God, did, did, did the Trump administration you? not think that we would find out? It's like, why yeah, did Chris, they even lie about that, it in the first place? Do you have any idea the amount of things we're going to start finding out? Yeah, I, yes, <laughs> I, mean, I know. Right. I mean, and Rude, it, it's, you know, I I mean, I, is that actual hope I felt listening to Biden? I'm like, oh, a federal actual plan to get everyone vaccinated. Yeah. 
oh my god an actual like you know uh it, it's it really is yeah and we're almost yeah, there yeah, it's yeah. like a mirage well, he, he also he also <laughs> didn't tell us that he'd get us the plan in two weeks which is a big change thank you from, from thank what you. we've been hearing right yeah, you said, uh, oh, when the NRA or the uh, uh, National Rifle Association says it's uh, filed for bankruptcy, you said, it's like karma said, whoa, I've been lax lately and just started effing S up. <laughs> <laughs> like karma is like an overdrive now. We're like, oh my God, this yeah, is really yeah. fun. Okay. I have let this go on way too long. But the last themes, as you said, I can't wait to never effing hear about the My Pillow guy again. Yes. I mean, I. You cannot write these last scenes of the Trump that the My Pillow guy is at the White House on Friday with a note that you can read that says martial law. You're like, what? And, and reports from inside the White House said that, yeah, Trump just said, just passed them off to like some other staffers and really didn't have that long of a meeting with them. Right. Now, but let, me ask you, let me ask you yeah. something. Do you think that My Pillow guy is going to get a blanket pardon? <laughs> Uh, you, you know, though, you know, yeah, and I saw somebody what? tweeted this photos of the of the National Guard soldiers, you know, sleeping in the yes, Capitol. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's where he could actually the my pillow guy could actually step up. and do some right. Here's where you yeah. can help. Yeah. And apparently he's praying that all the uh, military presence is there because Trump is going to overthrow the government. Right. That he's right. It's there to install. Trump. Well, they're doing the Trump, background he's saying that on. he will still be president and that that's why the military presence is there because Trump's going to declare martial law. And hey, I wouldn't rule it out, Rude. No, ah. I don't know. I don't. What was that creepy meeting that they had on Saturday night with uh, Jared and, uh, and and Mark Meadows and a few and Giuliani? And Giuliani. Yeah. 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 Anytime Giuliani's there. Oh, my God. He just looks mm -hmm. like. Dracula, just like you know, like something evil's happening. What's oh, going no, on? Oh yeah, yeah. No, he he always crawled out from under something to get yeah. to wherever he's going. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. I. I. You know. Even though, like, of course, because he's such a petty little bitch. Of course, he won't be at the inauguration. He's going to fly away before in the morning, like the coward he is. So he doesn't have to ask Joe Biden for the plane. So he's still president when he. And, and you know they have to. T he has to take the nuclear football with him. I'm like, oh. Jesus, like, what? let's hope that's not the finale, mm -hmm. right? I mean, no, normally it stays oh, in Washington. Oh, for the... I hadn't considered that. Oh, yeah, no, the football <laughs> goes with him. I'm like, oh, no, right? And, and, like, and apparently they let's have, a, let's have a little fireworks show for my big finale. What, is, what does this button do? <laughs> nah! <laughs> and apparently the military really, they, if the military were to disobey him on that, that would be a military coup. That would, <sighs> that's, mm -hmm. that's what it would be. And, don't, yeah. don't think this last couple days are going to be any less exhausting than the whole epic thing oh. has been. Oh no, no, but well, you know, speaking of the inauguration, you brought up not having Ted Cruz at the, you know what? I want Ted Cruz at the inauguration. Yeah. I want Ted Cruz to have to stand there and watch and suck it up yeah. and, 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 and either, and either applaud or look like a jerk for not applauding. Yep. Yeah. I want all of them there, all of them from Congress. I want them there. I want them there yep. and having and then having to answer, why did you go if you didn't think he was legitimately elected? I would be for that if I, you could be allowed in there to just whisper in all of their ears, get your face up in there, boy, get your face up in it. Do you like it? <laughs> Wow. Is, that weird? is that weird? Yeah, that, that is no, that, weird. That was right, weird. I know you were yeah. trying to say something that you could say on the air. 